Halo, nama saya Dona. Nama Anda siapa? Oh, dia Dewi. Kami tinggal di Indonesia. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mari Meng Indonesia from Basa Basa Learning Center. My name is Dona and I will assist you in learning Indonesian today. Have you ever wondered how Indonesians use pronouns like saya, aku, anda, kamu, dia, beliau, mereka, kami, kita? Sometimes you might hear people say saya in some situations, but they use aku in another situation. So which one is true? Well, today we'll dive into Indonesian pronouns and learn when and how to use them. Before we start, grab a pen and paper to take some notes or practice writing the phrases we'll be learning today. Don't worry if you don't get them right the first time. The more you practice, the easier it'll become. So, let's get started! As you can see in the beginning of this video, I used some of the pronouns we'll be learning today to introduce myself and someone. In a few minutes, you can also do that. So now let's dive into it. In Indonesians, pronouns play a very crucial role in communication. Using the right pronouns can show respect and politeness towards the person we're talking to. Let's start with saya, which means I in English. It's used in formal situations such as to your colleague, teacher, lecturers. For example, Halo, saya Dona. Next, we have casual form of I, which is aku. It's mostly used in casual or informal situations among friends or family. So please do make sure to use it instead of saya while you're talking to your Indonesian friends and use saya in the formal situation. Moving on to anda, which means you in formal situations. You can use it to show respect towards someone you're talking to, like your boss, colleague, or teacher. For example, Anda Guru Bahasa Indonesia, which means are you Indonesian teacher? It's actually very easy, right? Also, there's other way to say Anda in Indonesian by saying their title or profession, but we're going to discuss that in the next episode. Kamu in another way to say you, but in informal situation, like talking to your friends or family. For example, Kamu suka es krim, which means do you like ice cream? But we use it in the informal situation, for your friend or someone you already know or close enough. For Anda and Kamu, we only use them for singular. So, if we want to use it for plural, we have Kalian. However, it's better to use it only for people we're close enough, such as your friend. For example, you can ask what your friends want to eat by asking, Kalian mau makan apa? The next one is how to say he or she in Indonesian. Fortunately, the word for he or she is gender neutral in Indonesian. It's just dia. For example, dia Dewi dan dia Rafi. So that means she is Dewi and he is Rafi. However, if we want to say dia for an elder or someone we respect, we should use beliau instead. For example, Beliau Presiden Indonesia. Then, the next word is mereka, means they. And it's used when referring to a group of people. For example, mereka orang Indonesia. Lastly, I want to tell you about how to refer to we. For some people, it might be a little bit confusing and challenging as Indonesian has kami and kita. The difference is just if you want to include the person you want to talk to or not. If you don't want to include the person you talk to, you can use kami. For example, my friend and I are living in Indonesia. We live in Indonesia. But you're not. So, in that situation, we have to say kami tinggal di Indonesia because you're not included in the subject. But if you're also living in Indonesia, then I should say kita because I want to include you in the subject. 
And we, all of us, including you, are living in Indonesia. To recap, today we've learned how to use pronouns in Indonesia. Saya, aku, anda, kamu, dia, beliau, mereka, kami, dan kita. These vocabularies are easy to learn and remember. And they will help you making new friends in Indonesia. So that's all for today's episode of Mariman Indonesia with Pasa Pasa Learning Center. We hope you've learned something new about Indonesian pronouns and how to use them in your daily conversation. Don't forget to practice using these pronouns in different situations to become more confident in speaking Indonesian. If you want to learn more about Indonesian and the culture, don't forget to check out our website at basabasa.id and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Sampai jumpa lagi. Dadah!